Yo, welcome back guys to another episode of the Reddit series with Coach It's Enormous. So our player of the week is Moochie Gardner. He is a cornerback from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now he is a lockdown guy who can also lay the boom on people. So keep your eye on him because you don't want to throw it near him and you don't want to get hit by him. And today we'll be facing Utah State. I think we'll definitely have a leg up just because we've been getting spanked on by top 10 teams and these guys are not a top 10 team so we should definitely have the heads up on them. And it is a home game so that will help. It's enormous talking with our kicker, Dunder Scott. So I, uh, I hate to admit this but a lot of you guys in the comments have been saying, or through Reddit I've talked with, said you would like to see the video be a little bit shorter or mainly focus on the highlights. If you, you guys have said it seemed like to drag on. So I've invested some money and a lot of time, a lot of time learning how to do some editing and kind of cut it down here. So I spent probably a good amount of hours today learning how to edit and uh, cut down the video a little bit more just so that way it seems like it doesn't drag on and it's mainly the highlights for the most part. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hate to admit it but when I was trying to record this um, there's a lot of settings and the first time I went through this and I spoke and babbled on for like 27 minutes or however long this video is and unfortunately it didn't record anything so um, yeah so now I'm doing it again so I hope you guys appreciate it and let me know I'm open to any feedback you guys have in the comments that can make it more interesting for you guys or any plot twists or anything so make sure you guys just keep me updated with what you think is what's going on and how I can prove or what you what you like about it and what you don't so now let's hope our defense will be able to get a stop here our defense has been kind of shoddy all year it doesn't really seem like they can get a stop but Sir Destructor just laying the boom on Logan Bonner. That man just got lit up by a 7 foot 285 pound man. That could not have felt good. Come on. Nice. Third and 16. We're in good position here. Let's hope we can shut him out. Muffin half. Oh, oh, Sir Destructor let off it. And Carlos Danger with a hit stick. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, my goodness. This controller sucks. It's not the controller that sucks. It's just the wire. Oh, first and goal. This Savon Scarver guy is kind of torching us so far. Oh, come on. Oh, so we are down six to nothing. Let's hope we can pick it up and tie it back up. Danny Rucker. Come on, Danny. 37 yard return. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Oh, our wide receiver in the back got lit up. Who was that? Can't see. Oh, Williams. That's unfortunate. He got lit up by that cornerback. Oh, lucky Sanchez with a huge catch. <laughs> Always gotta love this audio. I don't know why. If does if you guys does it? If you guys who play revamp, does that happen for you guys? Where the audio just seems like it just gets really laggy and slows down for you. Sanchez has got a chip on his shoulder. He must want more playing time, even though he's getting a good amount. Oh, 
Oh. Mr. Williams dropped it there. That would have been a nice catch. Could not get it off in time. That had potential to be huge. Let's see if Dunderscott can make it as the controller dies. That's unfortunate. And he got it. Nice. Dunderscott is a stud. He does not miss. Let's hope our defense can stop him here. We need something big. Get him. Oh, come on. He is torching us. We need to lock him down. Oh, come on. We really need a big stop here. Nice sack. Nice six yard loss for them. We really need an interception or fumble. Oh, come on. Oh! Moochie just absolutely lit that man up. Let's just hope he's not going to press charges because that man got fucked up. Moochie, man, what a hit. Star player of the week for a reason. Oh, uh oh. Ooh, Sir Destructor laying the boom on Devontae Henry. Nice stop right there for the defense. That's got to be a huge confidence booster. Now let's see what the offense can do. Troy Barnes definitely has got a lot to prove here still. There's been some controversy coming up between him and the backups. They just uh, A lot of people are saying Troy Barnes doesn't have what it takes to get, get it done and get us some wins. So, you know, he's got a lot of pressure on him. Let's see how he performs. Oh. Oh, looked like he caught it, but he must have got a helmet shoved right into that ball. Third and ten. Let's hope we can convert. Oh, oh, shit. Interception. Oh, man, that is brutal right there. Troy Barnes, he, he's definitely feeling the pressure because he's not playing as well as he did to get him here. And they're in really good position. Let's hope the defense can stop him. Oh, 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 come on, Fahoko. Fahoko with a huge run. Let's hope number seven doesn't get him. Come on, Fahoko. Touchdown. Caused by the defense. Sir Destructor whooping some ass. Taking some names. And Fahoko taking it to the house. Oh, 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 nice sack. Fahoko. Fahoko is having himself a game. Good for him. That's what we need for them's defense. Shut him down. Oak task. Ooh. Let's see what Denny Rucker can do here. Come on, Denny. Oh. Oh.
And that is true. Bankies hasn't done anything this game. Come on, Justin, get the first. Just in case. Oh, Bankies with his first catch of the game and a 19 yard touchdown reception. Huge for Bankies, huge for San Jose to take a 10 point lead. As long as Dunder Scott hits this, as he does. Wow, Bam is getting punked right now. Let's hope we can stop him here. Looked like it could have maybe got picked off. 15 seconds left, second and 10. Let's hope we do not let them score and just hold them to three. Oh no, wide open in the corner. That's too bad. That is tough. So hoping the second half we have come up, we're able to do something. Come on, Denny, take you to the house. So with my editing, I kind of cut out the end of the last half just because we had two incompletions that ended it, so we didn't do anything. Barnes getting sacked. Could not get the ball off in time. That's just too bad. We had a wide open guy. So we had to make some change changes here. Mubisky's coming out firing so far. Let's hope he's uh can finish the game strong. Nice. Wow, he's he's really one. He's tackled at about the 37 yard line. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was gonna go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. From their own 37 yard line. It's first down. Sends it to the back. He's on the point. He's finally shot down at the 37. It takes an incredible amount of accuracy to throw the ball that high and then throw it. This is a beautiful pass. First to go. Here we And they make the stop at the 39. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive play. player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that. At the corner. And he shot that about at the 30. about two yards to get the first down here on third down. Watch they stack the line of scrimmage here. Let's see who's got the stronger line. And he's back for that with positive yardage. Now they run it left and a nice tackle right there. The defender wanted a head start and they certainly got him for it. 
just a discipline thing there. Yeah, like first five free yards, and that could hurt. From the 18 yard line. First down. The ninth play of the drive. Now, the 18 yard line. Call the loss of six yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. So it's second and 16. Ball on the 18. to the tight end and that falls incomplete. In the passing game, the chemistry is the quarterback and his receivers is very important. Here he has an open tight end and he just throws it to a wrong spot. Those guys got to get on the same page. team success first down and they've got their eyes on that goal line let's see if they try to pound it in here both teams have their goal line set to the field touchdown Spartans. he's blocking backs to a lot of dirty work during the game so it's good to reward him let him barrel in for a score once in a while tough run there against the goal line defense trying to go up by three they'll kick the extra point and he adds the extra point let's check in with reese davis in the studio Humphrey gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Spartans coaching staff's got to be elated over on the sideline about what they plan to do with this wide receiver and the plans coming to fruition. Absolutely, and they continue to be able to find ways to give him the football. That's the thing that's been probably most impressive, not just his ability but how they've moved him around and got the football to him in different ways. It makes it very tough on the defense. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to come up with a sack. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. receiver and down he goes around the 31 yard line what a throw for a big game that is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch they're crowding the line defense coming and the ball comes out he's taken down at the 21 that was a huge yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor in attack. He fights forward to about the 16. That'll make it 35. From the 16-yard line, it's third down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And the strike complete is down. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. This has been a fun one if you like offense. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. San Jose State is up a field goal. He fights forward to about the 10. That makes it first and 10. From 
the 10 yard line. First down. the PAT. So a six play 21 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Throws out and a leaping interception by the corner. Dives! Touchdown! They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Just under three to go in regulation. Now he's flushed, and they got him. Loss of six yards on the play. That will bring up third and eight. Sack makes this a fourth and very low. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Got the corner. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 47. 46 yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. Third down. Second time out of the half. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score San Jose State 41, Utah State 21.
of the Reddit series with Coach It's Enormous. So our player of the week is Moochie Gardner. He is a cornerback from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now he is a lockdown guy who can also lay the boom on people. So keep your eye on him because you don't want to throw it near him and you don't want to get hit by him. And today we'll be facing Utah State. I think we'll definitely have a leg up just because we've been getting spanked on by top 10 teams and these guys are not a top 10 team so we should definitely have the heads up on them. And it is a home game so that will help. It's enormous talking with our kicker, Dunder Scott. So I, uh, I hate to admit this but a lot of you guys in the comments have been saying, or through Reddit I've talked with, said you would like to see the video be a little bit shorter or mainly focus on the highlights. If you, you guys have said it seemed like to drag on. So I've invested some money and a lot of time, a lot of time, learning how to do some editing and kind of cut it down here. So I spent probably a good amount of hours today learning how to edit and uh, cut down the video a little bit more just so that way it's seems like it doesn't drag on and it's mainly the highlights for the most part so I hope you guys enjoy it and I hate to admit it but when I was trying to record this um, there's a lot of settings and the first time I went through this and I spoke and babbled on for like 27 minutes or however long this video is and unfortunately it didn't record anything so um, yeah, so now I'm doing it again, so I hope you guys appreciate it, and let me know. I'm open to any feedback you guys have in the comments that can make it more interesting for you guys, or any plot twists or anything, so make sure you guys just keep me updated with what you think is what's going on, and how I can prove, or what you, what you like about it, and what you don't, so now let's hope our defense will be able to get a stop here. Our defense has been kind of shoddy all year, it doesn't really seem like they can get a stop, but Sir Destructor just laying the boom on Logan Bonner. That man just got lit up by a 7 foot 285 pound man. That could not have felt good. Come on. Nice. Third and 16. We're in good position here. Let's hope we can shut him out. Muffin half. Oh, oh, Sir Destructor let off it. And Carlos Danger with a hit stick. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, my goodness. This controller sucks. It's not the controller that sucks. It's just the wire. Oh, first and goal. This Savon Scarver guy is kind of torching us so far. Oh, come on. Oh, so we are down six to nothing. Let's hope we can pick it up and tie it back up. Danny Rucker. Come on, Danny. 37 yard return. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Oh, our wide receiver in the back got lit up. Who was that? Can't see. Oh, Williams. That's unfortunate. He got lit up by that cornerback. Oh, lucky Sanchez with a huge catch. <laughs> Always gotta love this audio. I don't know why. If does if you guys does it? If you guys who play revamp, does that happen for you guys? Or the audio just seems like it just gets really laggy and slows down for you. Sanchez has got a chip on his shoulder. He must want more playing time, even though he's getting a good amount. Oh, 
Oh. Mr. Williams dropped it there. That would have been a nice catch. Could not get it off in time. That had potential to be huge. Let's see if Dunderscott can make it as the controller dies. That's unfortunate. And he got it. Nice. Dunderscott is a stud. He does not miss. Let's hope our defense can stop him here. We need something big. Get him. Oh, come on. He is torching us. We need to lock him down. Oh, come on. We really need a big stop here. Nice sack. Nice six yard loss for them. We really need an interception or fumble. Oh, come on. Oh! Moochie just absolutely lit that man up. Let's just hope he's not going to press charges because that man got fucked up. Moochie, man, what a hit. Star player of the week for a reason. Oh, uh oh. Ooh, Sir Destructor laying the boom on Devontae Henry. Nice stop right there for the defense. That's got to be a huge confidence booster. Now let's see what the offense can do. Troy Barnes definitely has got a lot to prove here still. There's been some controversy coming up between him and the backups. They just uh, A lot of people are saying Troy Barnes doesn't have what it takes to get, get it done and get him some wins. So, you know, he's got a lot of pressure on him. Let's see how he performs. Oh. Oh, looked like he caught it, but he must have got a helmet shoved right into that ball. Third and ten. Let's hope we can convert. Oh, oh, shit. Interception. Oh, man, that is brutal right there. Troy Barnes, he, he's definitely feeling the pressure because he's not playing as well as he did to get him here. And they're in really good position. Let's hope the defense can stop him. Oh, 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 come on, Fajoko. Fahoko with a huge run. Let's hope number seven doesn't get him. Come on, Fahoko. Touchdown. Caused by the defense. Sir Destructor whooping some ass. Taking some names. And Fahoko taking it to the house. Oh, 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 nice sack. Fahoko. Fahoko is having himself a game. Good for him. That's what we need for them's defense. Shut him down. Oak task. Ooh. Let's see what Denny Rucker can do here. Come on, Denny. Oh. Oh.
And that is true. Bankies hasn't done anything this game. Come on, Justin, get the first. Just in case. Oh! Bankies with his first catch of the game and a 19 yard touchdown reception. Huge for Bankies, huge for San Jose to take a 10 point lead. As long as Dunder Scott hits this, as he does. Wow, Bam is getting punked right now. Let's hope we can stop him here. Looked like it could have maybe got picked off. 15 seconds left, second and 10. Let's hope we do not let them score and just hold them to three. Oh no, wide open in the corner. That's too bad. That is tough. Let's hope in the second half we have come up, we're able to do something. Come on, Denny, take it to the house. So, with my editing, I kind of cut out the end of the last half just because we had two incompletions that ended it, so we didn't do anything. Barnes getting sacked. Could not get the ball off in time. That's just too bad. We had a wide open guy. So we had to make some change changes here. Mubisky's coming out firing so far. Let's hope he's uh can finish the game strong. Nice. Wow, he's he's really wanting in here. I think he must really want that starting position. Wow. Come on, Denny. Come on, Denny. Just control our guys, come on. Oh. Two yard loss, that's too bad. Peanut just really hasn't gotten anything going this season, and Denny's been having a lot more success than him so Denny's been getting a lot of second half playing time these games just because he's been able to do something and you know he will be the future because Peanuts only got this year and then next year but this will bring up a huge quarterback controversy if Titchell Mubisky can win us this game and not really make any mistakes I think he might have the starting job locked up and Troy Barnes might end up losing it and maybe who knows he might even transfer but that's kind of worst case scenario because in this day and age everyone who loses their start starting job just seems like they transfer or just in general if they're not playing they transfer so 
I mean, it'd be nice to hold on to him, and he is a Juco product, so I don't know if he would be be able to go somewhere else so easily. I don't know, but he was a highly touted one and came in here projected to be the starter just in case with a nice broken tackle and the first nice six-yard hard gain by just in case. Oh, come on, Peanut, get rid of it. There's nothing open there, unfortunately, so couldn't do much. And the animation he got where he broke the first tackle, it just slowed him down, and he couldn't do anything after that. That's too bad. We really need to score here in order to keep up, because usually, oh, that looked like it could have been pretty close there. Just the ball was just a little too far out. Third and 16. Oh, come on, Sanchez. Sanchez fights for it and gets the first. You know, I think we might have to give Rick Dale some action here. Because he is an absolute Mike Allstott stud. Come on. Oh, man. Did he just paralyze that man? Rick Dale with an absolute hit stick on that guy. Jeez. Nice. Up by three. That's huge for us. Let's hope our defense is able to do something here. He need a huge stop here. This would be huge. If we can get some Oh, oh come on. Nice sack by Sir Destructor. That is huge. That's what we needed. Second and 18. Make it a lot harder for them just to get that first. Our defense really needs some moral victories to set us up for the rest of the season. Oh. Oh, come on, guys. Third and four. Let's hope we can stop them. We need this. Oh, fumble. Let's go. Chris Torres picks it up. Huge. That's huge for us. That is what we needed. And we're in really good position as well. So, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully, we can put some points up on the board. Denny Rucker, nice couple yard gain there for four. Third and five. Let's... We need five yards here to get this through. Oh, fourth and inches. Oh, goodness. I think this might be a Rick Dale moment here. Let's hope we can get this. Rick Dale's had some success, and I guess we'll have to see in the fourth. Has been a fun one if you like offense. Come on, Rick Dale, you got this. Nice, got the one yard gain. That's huge. That's what we needed. I'm glad we did that instead of just kicking it. We really needed it. 
Now let's just hope we can score a touchdown. Oh, Lucky Sanchez is having himself a game. Five receptions for 63 yards. He's going off. Justin Case is in it. Quarterback. Let's hope he can do something here. Touchdown, Justin Case. So Justin Case, he is our go-to running quarterback. He's kind of like the utility guy. When we need something with some running, he's the guy who's going to be able to get us those yards just because... He just does that, and he's, he's the fastest guy we have. So we got a 10-point lead with 3 minutes and 55 seconds left. Let's hope our defense, if our defense can get another stop, this game is over. So that's what we really need to hope for. Our defense has been playing really well this game, so I wouldn't put him past him if we can get another turnover. Uh-oh. Oh! Interception by Trey White. And is he going to take it to the house? He is. Touchdown by Trey White. Now, we should be able to kick this easy extra point and go up 38-21. to 21, And this should be able to seal the game. So that is huge for our defense. Just making sure we're able to finish. Let's hope they don't have a good drive here. Score a quick touchdown. And then stop us or we turn it over. Come on, get him. Nice sack on Logan Bonner. He has had a tough day. He has not been able to get anything. I mean, I guess he has been getting some stuff going, but he has been hit and hit hard. So it's been pretty good for us. So far, we've been really playing how our defense should. Come on. Nice sack. Fourth and 16. But they're going to go for it here. Wow, they're going to punt it. So that is good news for us. Almost blocked. Let's see what Danny Rucker can do. He's he's had a pretty good game returning stuff so far. minute left third and three if we convert this this game is easily I guess even if we don't convert this this game's over we just need to take get oh nice that now this game should be over we can let it run out oh he's gonna run the ball one more time let's see if he can do something here maybe he wants to get Danny Rucker some more reps here oh Oh, I thought he was going to run it there. Okay, now, now some running will be happening. So, must just be wanting the younger guys to get some reps, get some more experience. So, that way when it is, comes down to these tougher situations, they will definitely be ready and up for the challenge. Run out the clock, run out the clock. Timeout with one second left. I wonder what he's going to be doing here. Is he going to kick it? Another timeout. He must be trying to ice Dunder Scott and maybe get him ready just for when their game, game winner is on the line. Make sure he's clutch. See if he can hit this. And Dunder Scott hits the three to give us a 20-point win over Utah State. So that's pretty good. Really impressed with how our team's defense played. And uh, Tichel, Trubis or Tichel Mubisky definitely held his own. And he will be under consideration to start next week. And I'm really happy for him. Really good. And Troy Barnes was pretty ecstatic for him too. So let's see. Let's check the stats out here. So 
Tichel Lubisky, 8 for 9, 104 yards, no touchdown, but he did a lot better than Troy Barnes, so who knows, he might even get the start next game, as depends how they do in practice. They might have a little rivalry start, and I know they're friends, but they definitely want to compete. Uh, Danny Rucker, 6 attempts, 22 yards. Just in case, 4 attempts, 24 yards. Rashad Bankies had the only receiving touchdown of the game, 6 for 72. Lucky also went pretty good, 6 for 74. Our defense was the main story here. They put up 14 points, forced fumble, and a an, uh, pick six. Yeah, I guess they had two forced fumbles, but one one forced fumble all the way to the house. Trey White with that. Sir Destructor for, forced to fumble, and Fajoko also forced to fumble. So they Fajoko had a really good game. He might have to be today's player of the game. Kicking, Dunder Scott excelled like normal he's just an absolute unit he can really bump that ball like no other Danny Rucker did pretty decent coming with returns so good to see him and it'll be excited to see him grow throughout his career because I know his backstory is crazy crazy good that is so now we're gonna take a look at the recruits and if you guys see any any guys that we end up do committing and you want your name to be it comment down below and whoever gets the most likes or depending on how that is I'll definitely switch them out there and um, before we get to the end of it guys please like and subscribe really appreciate it and share with your friends let me know what you guys liked and did not like about this series but I tried my best to edit it to keep it a little shorter so keep me updated and I hope you guys have a good one and these are some guys we might be able to get so hope you guys have a good one peace